Welcome to Interview with a Backpacker, weekly on Spotify and iTunes. For everyone that lives in the moment, welcome to Interview with a Backpacker. Today is the 7th of October, it's 28 degrees outside, it's fucking hot and um, yeah, I'm melting as every day. Today we have a wonderful backpacker with us, her name is Francesca, she's sitting next to me. My name is Francesca, I'm from Italy, I'm traveling since November. Um, Francesca, I start right away, uh, I call it the icebreaker question and yeah. What is the most expensive thing you bought while you were traveling? The car that they stole me. <laughs> <laughs> they stole your car? Yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I've, I know they yeah. stole it out of your room. But yeah, but the most expensive thing was the car and it's the same thing as this, the most expensive thing that I bought. It. <laughs> For how long did you have the car? Since December. And uh, how much did you pay for it? Um, five thousand dollars. And they got it. I just paid two thousand and five hundred. Two thousand and five hundred. So how did they steal it? <laughs> how they grow? Yeah. They they came in my house while I was sleeping, and they took the key from the kitchen table. Yeah. And that's it. Then when I wake up, the car was gone. So <laughs> <laughs> no, I do not. The funny thing is that they just you know on the on the key card there was written Jeep. Yeah. So the only jeep in the car parking was full of um, cars, yeah. but the only jeep was um, armed. Uh, so easy, so and so they easy. took it easy. Anyway. Anyway, okay. Maybe not the best question to start. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to make you angry right away. <laughs> I'm gonna start crying. <laughs> no, yeah. So question number two: Is there something you always wanted but never had? Like material thing? Mm, whatever you thought of. Mm, the freedom to do not work a day of my life. <laughs> That's the thing that probably it's hard to take it. But you work uh, quite a lot. I'm working to, to get that one day, you know? It's my aim, mm. trying to find a way yeah. to be as yeah, more free that, freer that I can. Yeah. What are you working as at the moment? I'm making ice cream in a happy place. <laughs> <laughs> in a beautiful view, so I'm quite happy at the moment. Mm. Is it good? It's not the best ice cream ever. I used to make a really good ice cream in Italy, yeah. but they pay me the double here. <laughs> so and I work like half hours than I used to work. So that's perfect for the moment. Yeah. I'm living the dream. You living and the best ice cream is coming from Italy. Yeah. So it's yeah, it's, it's, it's hard true. to copy it. Yeah, exactly. The recipe are not mine. Maybe one day they will let me try. <laughs> mm, question number three. What's one weird or odd thing you're traveling with? Like something that is very special about you, something maybe if it's a necklace or something that normally people don't travel with it. You mean an object I'm traveling with? Mm, probably an object more, yeah. For me, for example, I'm traveling, yeah, I'm traveling with a drone, with a camera and a scuba equipment. Like okay. I think I should decide for one, but I'm traveling with all of these three. And it's way too heavy. I have like three, three backpacks I'm, I'm carrying okay. along with me. So the, okay, um, probably my di my diary. Yeah, that one. It's a kind of notebook. Is it like? Do you make short notes or do you write mm. like the whole story? No, no. I got this notebook since elementary school. Really? Not the same, but yeah, yeah. Maybe I know I don't write every day. Maybe once a month just yeah. to talk about yeah. what's going on so that's the most important thing even at home sometimes I think what is the most important thing to me at home is all my diaries because it's more my story you know I don't care about other things you know I can buy with everything but that's all my memories and sometimes when I come back after years because I don't live in my place since since few years now so the first things I want to read my my notes at the high school especially is the best moment because you know <laughs> every week today i fall in love with this guy <laughs> the next week no this guy i don't like him anymore i'm falling in love with this new guy today <laughs> it's so funny because i fucking have so many names it was a lot, yeah. lot. especially in, in school yeah. i was i was the same almost every week i was in love with another girl yeah but always it was like and uh, it was daniela or denise daniela denise <laughs> and you write that no no i didn't write it it's down but i I remember them yeah, both. For the moment. Yeah, but, but I was 
call it. When you'll be when you will be 80, you will not remember maybe so just right. Yeah. But this were the first girls I were in love with. Okay. So I think I, at least I remember that. Yeah, maybe there are just names that now I wouldn't remember it, you know, mm. at the elementary school. You just talk about some friends that you probably yeah. you don't talk with since even if you you know met because yeah. the city is the same but you know friends with them anymore and you're right and there are still yeah. the name in the diary so cool <laughs> that's pretty that's pretty funny actually timmy also he said uh, a diary but for him it was like uh, for him he said if you read through it again it doesn't make sense because he just wrote emails and some sh no short notes for the moment but only for him it probably makes sense if he reads back no i'm still trying to to keep the same style you know yeah. i'm still make Hello, it's yeah. still me. Sorry if you don't really? know. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's just like speaking with another and person. That's really cool. I tried it once, but I, I couldn't. It, I, couldn't I know it's do really it hard to. And yeah, take but my time. sometimes it doesn't matter, even if it's past two months. I just always apologize. Sorry, I know it's past two months. I should have text more. <laughs> <laughs> okay, question number four. This one is maybe. Uh, I, I'm not sure if you like this one, but uh, I'm just going to ask anyway. So if you have only two characteristics you can give yourself, which one would you give yourself? Okay. Um, moody is the first. Really? Yeah. I, similar to bipolar. No, not bipolar, <laughs> but no, but the one that like... No, seriously, I'm moody. I really, really moody. Some, some days I'm so mm -hmm. happy, so... Some days are really, I don't know, just sad, confused, or it's always an up and down with me. That's the main problem. This is the bad one, I could say. Because some days I'm, I'm really funny and I make jokes with my friends. Some days they hate me because I, oh, come on, I want to go home. I don't want to stay here anymore. So I hope it's not bipolarism. <laughs> but for, I can say moody for the moment. You can say now, can I'm US joking. also has bipolarism, so maybe it's cool already having yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> and the second, ooh, that's hard. What are yours? So for the moment, um, Yeah, for the moment is a good word because I'm changing a lot. Since yeah. But moody is no. For the moment, I'm really, really moody. You too. Really, really moody. Like I just went to a fight in t with my roommates two days ago, like a little bit Ooh. fight. Uh, no, no, with Tim. <laughs> yeah. I would say him. No, I said he has to be more clean. <laughs> not, to <me>. <laughs> not to me. No. I just push her in the face. Yeah. I was. Uh, I was <laughs> I, I throw everything out of the room and said, <laughs> no, I was just, uh, I was just, it's something basic. I was just thinking he had to be more clean, but <laughs> and now he's coming in and be very quiet. You can open the door normally, but make sure to clean them. <laughs> After that, <laughs> yeah, it's good for that. So, so the second one, yeah. Mm. Optimistic. Optimistic. Yeah. It can work. That works too. It definitely. Yeah. You don't have. To. I don't know if I answer with on Harry, but mm. yeah, I'm just trying to be. Since I'm here, I'm, since I left home, I'm just trying to live more. Than, even if it's really right. hard, because after COVID. Most yeah. of all, actually, because I'm, I was different, so many different plans of my life and it's changed a lot. So I'm just trying to live in the day. Yeah. That's it's really hard because I, I was a person that always make plans of everything. So I, w I will get married at 28. I will have babies at 30. Then I was my life. I was so planned. Now I just, you just let live it the day, wake up and I don't know anymore. So just feeling and I okay. hope so it would be OK. I would never have thought it about uh, about you. Either the moody, either the I wouldn't also say optimistic, and I also would say you plan everything. <laughs> what would you say to me for me? Mm, temperament, which is like moody, but it's like I think it's a nicer word for it, and it has something more positive. And for the second one, long legs. <laughs> That's what Natsumi said. <laughs> Just as an explanation, uh, Natsumi said. That's Natsumi yeah. what we say, Natsumi. Was, no, no, don't steal her. Yeah, but I... I, <laughs> I agree. <laughs> <laughs> but 
but that's a physical. That's something physical, yeah. But of course, I'm long. Yeah. Everyone always said that I have long legs. Isn't really? I have long legs, man. Yeah. It's a fact, you know. It's not, everyone knows that. <laughs> my mom every, always asks me, "Oh, you have long legs?" Yeah, okay, that's that's true. They recognize me for my legs since far away, you know, even without glass. <laughs> I have a second one. Okay. Sporty. Sporty. Yeah, that's I used to be more. True. And more. also, you are very, um, and that's very very cool you're very um, ambitious like you 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 want to win and you want to be better and you don't want to do it wrong <laughs> and that, I, I liked it a lot and I also I see like when something like when we play beach volleyball for example and you try to to uh, make a nice make a nice pass or whatever and it doesn't work the way you want it to work <laughs> you, you you can get a little bit angry yeah that's, that's true. why I uh, but temperament. this is for I noticed because I used to play basketball since for many years when I was just, yeah I played for eight nine years all my kid yeah until yeah you know high school and I wasn't so as you say so careful about because yeah. probably it wasn't my sport probably I, I prefer volley so maybe I care much more because the, my problem was the opposite that always say to me you don't care about win or, or lose sometimes so it's funny because you're telling me about that probably I've changed it Three years, probably, I don't know. Or maybe because I like more volume, but I don't know. But you also like playing in a good team, don't you? That's, no, that's definitely true. Yeah. I don't want to play, yeah. no, but th this is because I passed two weeks there, yeah. always don't looking to play with, yeah. and that that's, was the worst yeah. weeks. I always lose, so now I, if I go there, it's yeah. because I want to. <laughs> I, that I want to I want to win because I want to play you know that's different because now we just only the, the the winner play so if I go there it's just to win yeah. to play and then you have to wait and maybe that comes no. the second group and you have to wait more no yeah. that's true I am just for an explanation for earlier um why um Nat Natsumi came that's my Japanese roommate and one day she came to me and said she met uh, two friends Pedro and and she couldn't say and she snipped her fingers and she said. Uh, <laughs> Long legs, long legs. <laughs> and I said, Francesca, Francesca. And she said, yes, yes. So that's why I said the thing with the long legs. <laughs> All right. Question number five. Um, what's the weirdest smell you ever smelled? <laughs> I know that. I know that. But I, can, I still cannot explain clearly. Okay. The, in Australia, there is a tree. Yeah. That it, since I left Melbourne, I always smell this perfume this yeah. it, it looks me like um minestrone you know minestrone yeah the le soup uh, do you know the tree i don't know this uh, the leaf they, I, they remind me my childhood really i, I don't know which of the minestrone also i what hate the, the what, minestrone what, what's, what's minestrone? it's like a soup it's like uh when you put all the vegetables in and boiled and blend okay i don't this, like that of course, but you know, it's healthy. So when you're a kid, you're, I'm, I'm, I don't know what my mom used to prepare to me because you, have, you need vegetables, blah, blah, blah. And I used to eat this, really, because mm -hmm. I, I didn't like boiled vegetables and all to mixed together. So it's the worst because all this time I found one. Yeah. I found a tree, but I don't know the name of the tree. Of course, I cannot Google it. Yeah. Which one is the, the, the smell like a soup? But that's the weirdest at all. It's not sink. But it just reminds you, you know, when perfume reminds you yeah. of many things. Sometimes just, I don't know, I, it's, it's a sensation, every, it's yeah. a feeling that everyone knows. That's but that's really weird. Cool. weird. <laughs> you didn't expect questions like that, huh? <laughs> no, I thought I was, I was thinking about, oh, maybe we will ask my favorite song. And I was trying, while making ice cream, I was trying to listen to the song. No, I don't. This is not my best. No, no, I could do better. And then I start thinking. And if you ask me my best movie, my favorite movie, I'm just trying to think all my favorite movies. <laughs> but at the same time, I knew that where I'm so banal, yeah. your question, they would be like, if you're doing yeah. something like that, it's not for asking who cares who yeah. is my favorite song, you know? <laughs> so. um, we are already at question number seven. Um, last? No, it's it's... We are actually at question number six, but sometimes I cancel some questions, sometimes I add okay, something. Because Just I'm not ready for the six? Maybe you're not ready for the six. <laughs> really? <laughs> um, okay, let's do the seven. Let's do the seven. Are you patriotic? Um, I am. 
um, for different things depends i'm not the person that get offended if someone's talk mm. about the country because at the same time i left my country for a reason this is yeah. why because i know i don't know if i'm gonna live there when i will grow up because yeah i got many problems and da, 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 boring things anyway but yeah sometimes i i like to speak with about the good things of my country mm. example of course so banal but the food yeah. is one of those not just the food in general, but the tradition that is behind of this is not for Italian people. Mm. The food is not like, I don't know. I think it's not for everyone mm. else because for us it's like a culture that every every single city has its own food. Yeah. Even small village, every single village has its own. And for us it's like, yeah, sure. even when we go out, we always think about where to go to eat. But mm. it's not like here in Australia, for example, mm. if you go to a restaurant, it's not just restaurant. It's, Thai restaurant, Japanese restaurant, Lebanese, Indian, whatever. We got just restaurants yeah. and we just like to travel during the weekend just around your main city, you know, because you know that if you go in that small village, you will eat this or even the wine, you will drink this kind of wine if you go there. Yeah. So that's the best things of my country. I don't, I don't know if it's, but yeah, that's it's, the best one. It's really nice what you said that you, uh, there's a reason why you left your country. Yeah. I think uh, yeah. I think you can be patriotic without uh, being offended when someone says something against Italy, yeah. enough, for example. No, because I know that there are bad mm. and good for every single country. Yeah, I remember uh, Fabio Grosso. Fabio Grosso <laughs> shooting, shoot, I think it was two thousand six. Grosso, 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 and Germany lost to. You were on for Italy or for France? No, that was against Germany. I don't remember. Ah, okay. Yeah. Even the Piero did. The Piero Other did the Piero. goal after. Yeah. But the first okay, goal sorry. did the uh, remember the Piero. Grosso. Because I'm from, I love Juventus. I'm from Turin, so I'm really uh, into Juventus. Juventus and uh, I know the Piero is the king of Juventus. Do you Juventus. remember Pavel Nedved? Of course. Yeah. I have the t-shirt of Nedved and Trezegge and all that. Yeah. Uh, me too. I had Pavel Nedved and Del Piero. I met Pavel Nedved, not Matt. I don't yeah. know what you mean, Matt. No, really? I had the, 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 only the dress. <laughs> okay, yeah. nice. I, because he, he, they lived close to me. Really? Nedved, yeah, I always see he, he, Nedved with the kids. Because they're this, yeah. Do they have the same yeah. hair? Like, <laughs> no. No. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully not. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Um, if there's any place you can back, go back, uh, any place you've already been while traveling, which place would it be? Ooh. I was. Uh, I would probably always say Rome. Rome. It's so. I don't know. Maybe you should expect this, but I traveled many places, but for me, Rome is the best city in the world, man. Seriously. I would never live there, but how I feel there, I always go one, at least once a year. I want to go. I feel like I want to go home. Just three days. Eat or eat, of course, because mm. I, the food is really yeah. good. But yeah, I just walk through the city and don't need to do anything. Just walk and lo get lost in yeah. Rome. For me, it's really good. It's really good. I don't know if once a city or landscape, because there are many places as well. But yeah, mine's red, so Rome. Okay. How many beers can you drink before you get drunk? <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> and uh, it's three, three seven five milliliters, three hundred seventy five milliliters. This is just for me. This answer. This question. Oh, you answered this to this, other this people. This question is it's uh, only for me. Yeah. yeah. No, oh. that's not. Oh it's, really? I asked. It, it, it. Really. This um, one is maybe the only question I ask everyone. Depends on the graduation of the yeah. beer, but. Mm. Three, four. Three, four. 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 And how many do you drink a week? Ah, uh, I did. I didn't used to drink for since no. why? I uh, so no. that's because I used to drink a lot, yeah. a lot as a not alcoholic. But in the region where I used to live in yeah. Italy, there was Venice. They yeah. drink a lot, a lot, a lot. It means every day after work you go for a drink every day. So I just start because you you have to make friends and with yeah. the workmates just okay let's have a spritz you know a pro spritz yeah, yeah it's, it's local there yeah. so let's do a pro spritz but I uh, I didn't like a lot I don't like a lot the super alcoholic yeah. so I always for the beer I always drink beer most of all more than wine as well so I just start drinking a lot there yeah. <laughs> and then one, once once came come to Australia I just stopped and 
How is the exact pronunciation of Aperol Spritz? Do you pronounce it in English now? Or Aperol how? Spritz. No, it's Italian. It's from Aperol. Aperol is from that region, yeah. close to Venice. Ah, Venezia. Okay. Yeah. They produce it there. Yeah. Aperol oh, Spritz. Right. And there is like two euro. It's so cheap there. Yeah. Two euro because it's local, so yeah. you can just get drunk. But it's not so expensive in Germany either. No. 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 It's mm -hmm. maybe. But in my city, for example, it's like five euro, six, yeah. but not yeah. like two or three like as yeah. that region. But yeah, it's, uh, then I don't know. Yeah, four, six, but probably because it's a long time that I didn't drink, so yeah. last, last weekend no. I drank so much and I didn't get <laughs> used for a while. <laughs> <laughs> and now for a while I will not drink. Okay. A lot. <laughs> Um, where are we? Okay, let's before we go to the thick uh, five quick w uh, words, <laughs> we go for number five. I didn't ask before, but you don't have to answer. I don't. I'm you just don't have to know. Okay. Uh, how would the perfect date look like? The perfect date? It's funny. Why shouldn't I ask? Mm. Yeah. Why not? Exactly. Why not? Um... Yeah. Before you answer, yesterday I had a recording with um, with Bob. We? Bob, uh, I you call him Alessandro, but uh, he introduced for me as Bob. Like, really? Yeah, he has two names. I think Bob because he said something from The Simpsons with Tingle Tangle Bob. You know, this guy like he always tries to murder Bart. Okay. In the Simpsons, and yes, like yeah, no, I know, no, ah, so okay. the list yeah, about. and he he he's told me I maybe the questions I choose they is, I should go more like more sexual, more party, more people want to hear that like more for the for the drama, more for the how how do you say yeah, that? Yeah, okay, I don't yeah. know. Really but I'm I'm still thinking I I do it like that because otherwise you lose. It's not. I, I like it a little bit serious at least. Yeah. So a nice mix. Yeah. So that's why I was like a little bit. Uh, I'm not. I'm not hundred percent sure with the questions I ask either. Okay. I think anyway the answer is the easiest possible. I need just for a walk yeah. and an ice cream. Easy. I really? Need, yeah, ice cream. <laughs> that would one. Yeah, just a walk. I don't. Just to know each other because maybe when you are younger you you want to go to the cinema yeah. and but at the cinema is cannot each other so it doesn't make sense i would answer that at the high school but now no just a walk a walk in a good place and that's it that's that's pretty uh, that's helping me a lot because i have a lot of problems when i'm dating a girl i, I, I would also like to go for ice and a walk that would be the best for me yeah just but walk I'm, and i'm like always let's go to a bar or something you know and just end the walk with a good yeah. view and that's it yeah. it's yeah everywhere there is always a good view yeah. after a walk just if you don't know where to go there is always something so easy that's good to know okay five quick words for francesca number one hungry pizza purple mm? the color purple purple knam um, uh, because my pastry shop was the purple was yeah. the color of yeah. the sign, so uh, it was all, everything purple, everything. And the Knam. packaging and Knam is the, the chef, my chef, they, he used to love purple, yeah. so everything was purple in that pastry shop. <laughs> okay. Purple. Maple syrup. Pancakes, but I don't have idea, I never have had one, really, never tried. You never had maple syrup? No, I don't think so. It's with the pancake? Or yeah. Is it right? Okay. I, I have maple syrup here, I, I, I show you maple okay. syrup. <laughs> Let's it's, try later. It's really, really good. <laughs> um, love. Love. Um, uh, love. Car cartoons? Like Disney cartoons? The old ones? With just Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck and Goofy? That ones make me laugh a lot. Okay. And number five, the last one, drugs. Drugs. Um, Bush party. <laughs> Am I wrong? <laughs> no. <laughs> Everyone is on drugs there. It's a okay. famous, famous party. I think it's. They should try uh, drugs allowed here. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's it, Francesca. Thank you so much for joining today. Thank uh, you, Dayson. It was amazing. Thank you. I really liked it. <laughs> and uh, thank you guys for joining as well. Um, me and Francesca now go to play some beach volleyball, I hope. And uh, try some maple syrup <laughs> first. Stay tuned for the next episode. The next fresh guest is uh, French. The next fresh guest. I read the next fresh guest, but I wrote wrote down French guest. <laughs> so the next fresh French guest is uh, Severine. 
Stay tuned for that. Follow me on Instagram. It's DYSN49 to see also pictures of the people I'm talking to. And yeah, ciao bellos. And bellos. <laughs> Belly. Belly. <laughs> Belly is me. Uh, Belly is the plural. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for joining this episode of Interview with a Backpacker, weekly on Spotify and iTunes. Subscribe to stay tuned, stay tuned in general bro. A new hard-hitting police drama is coming to Friday night. He was a well-to-do cop transferred to a troubled precinct downtown. His new partner is a space traveler with a passion for justice. It's Yuppie and the Alien. Look, you might vaporize dissidents in Alpha Centauri, but in this precinct, we do it by the book. I'm so terribly sorry, Captain. Duh, Gugan sorry. Don't miss this one-of-a-kind police drama. They're fighting crime the hard way. In designer clothes, with a quarter of a million dollar sports car and a UFO. Partner, let's go cruise in the car and look moody. One tough downtown precinct, two outsiders doing things their way. Yuppie and the Alien on VBC. <laughs>